I believe our very lives are a matter of stewardship. The way that we use what we have matters to the one who made us. He intended for us to manage this life and all that comes with it. This is a podcast to connect the dots of all the ways we manage the substance of our lives, from heart work to housework, from relationships to identity, from purpose to desires, wellness, creativity, and everything that makes up our lives. This is a sisterhood centered on Christ. On this podcast, I'll be sharing thoughts and transparent talks on what God is teaching me as I wear these different hats and manage various things just like you do, only differently in my own style for his glory. Listen in. scripture when Jesus sends out the 72 that you know go out before him he tells them something that's really interesting to me and it just stayed with me after I read it I just kept thinking about it and and meditating on it and and what it what it meant but what it meant you know what I mean um how it applies to us or or what we can learn from it and something that really Um, hit home for me was when Jesus said take no extra like belongings with you like don't take an extra tunic or cloak he may have said um, depending on the translation you're reading and go to the house that you're supposed to go to and don't greet anybody on the way and we're talking about I mean I'm no theologian but I do know that that society was a very hospitable society where people would take others in who were on like long trips or whatever and they would usually have an extra room or or have some place in their home that these people could stay in and hospitality was a big deal so wouldn't we think that Jesus would say hey help everybody on the way or if you see someone minister to their needs or he said do not stop on the road and greet anybody um, or do not greet anyone on the road and I just thought wow why would why would he tell tell them that and you know what I thought and what just kind of what was impressed upon my mind and my heart was just that when God tells us to do something and he sends us out to do something um, that we are basically supposed to have a single focus And we're supposed to keep our eyes straight ahead. And, you know, scripture says don't look to the right or to the left. And, and, you know, we're supposed to put blinders on and and all these different references to staying focused on the task and or the the path that God has us on. And I thought what what an interesting um, way of saying stay focused on God and and that's what I get from it um and and that's what I the way that I read it and that's the way that I understood it and and what happens when we look to the left or the right or what what happens when we start um you know we stop along the way with things that may be you know quote-unquote good things or may appear to be good things but they're not the best thing they're not and the best thing is always being on the path that God told you to be on and focusing on the things that God told you to focus on so that's my my takeaway from that scripture and of course I'm going to link it but I just thought it was really really interesting I would love to know what you think about that scripture I would love to know if you're you're reading it the same way or if you've read it that way before Um, like I said so many times a lot of this is just me sharing kind of a, a bible study almost you know of what I'm getting from something and kind of how I study the bible how it relates to us and how it pertains to just the life that we're living and the different things that we face. So I would love to know what you hear. Um, So I want to encourage you as I also encourage myself, if God has told you to do something, impress something upon your heart to do, do that and do it in, in a focused manner. And intentionally focused, focusing on, you know, the lane that God has you in, the path that God has you on, and the different things that God has told you to do that you you know what God told you to do. I think most of the time we try to confuse ourselves or we do confuse ourselves by, you know, when God just lays something on our hearts instead of just going right out and doing it. 
we'll sit and we'll kind of toy around with the idea or and what we do is we give doubt an opportunity to creep in we give the enemy an opportunity to creep in um we allow fear you know to take up residence when what we should be doing is what um we should be doing literally like that's what we should be doing if god's laid something on your heart to do do that um don't look to the right or the left (laughs) don't stop and greet anybody on the road but if he sends you out go and do what it is he's told you to do and accomplish that so this is short and sweet and if i'm sorry about the audio (laughs) um but i literally am driving while i'm i'm safe no worries um but I just, that was laid on my heart and it's been something that, you know, like I said, I've, I've kind of been meditating on and I wanted to share it before I forgot it. Um, so I hope you have an amazing day. I hope that you use today to just seek God and what he would have you to do with it. And until next time, what will you steward well?